Hey, uh, it's Nax, and welcome back to my channel. This is Princess, this is Billy, and Colt is right here on the floor sleeping on his bed. Look at Princess, she's just exposing her belly to me. Yeah, she's 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 a heavy sleeper. Anyway, all right, guys, so we are watching The Last of Us on a different day. We're watching it on Friday because Super Bowl weekend is upon us. So what team are you cheering for? I, I've been trying to understand but i guess i i sort of do and it's how we can see joel slowly opening up to ellie with ellie and her pun jokes which i'm so glad that they kept from the game and even the very last one which made me laugh out loud when she said diarrhea was hereditary what? i honestly thought she she thought that and i was like no no they're they're teaching her wrong stuff in fedra and apparently it was a pun joke and I feel like it got all of us because that I knew that that wasn't in the game. And even with Joel, he was so confused. He probably thought that she learned that in school, but we saw that he just kind of laughed. And I like that. Moving back a little bit with Ellie and her first... I wouldn't say kill because she didn't really kill the guy, but the first time she hurt, um, gravely hurt someone with a gun, I'm pretty sure she paralyzed the man. Um, and we can see how shocked she was and how traumatized she was. We just, we just saw how she tried to toughen it up. But as soon as she got back in the room where she was hiding from, she had to wipe away her tears. And the first thing that you would initially do when you see a kid having to do that is you try to comfort her. And Joel didn't really do that. Like, that wasn't the first thing that he did. At first, he, I'm pretty sure he knew what to do but he decided not to do it because he still had this wall up around him because he didn't he doesn't want to get attached he still wants to just see her as cargo he's traumatized with what happened with sarah i mean i don't think that's something you'll ever be able to get over anyway um losing a child later on we did see how he tried to comfort her like and i personally saw like from the performance that pedro did is that he knew what he was saying, but he just didn't want to be as more open about it. Because someone might say that he just didn't know what to say, and that's why he said that. But I think he really did want to say that no kid should have to do that. But he just didn't want to come off as too, uh, you know, comforting to Ellie because she do he doesn't want Ellie. He doesn't want to get attached to Ellie. So yeah, anyway, um, this episode is going to be pretty long. We're going to get to meet Henry and Sam. We're also going to meet Perry and what was her name? Kathleen and see the cause that the hunters are fighting for and just how brutal they could be compared to Fedra. So that's it. Oh, also, we'll get to see the bloaters for the first time. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> Deagle. Okay, episode five. Let's go, Henry and Sam. Billy, how do you find Pedro Pascal? Do you think he's a good? Oh, wow. Okay. Do you think he's a good actor for Joel? I agree. Ooh! Ah. Uh... Oh, shit! That's rough. Okay, we'll see why they want Henry and Sam now. Oh, that's... Is, are those knives? That's a lot. Oh. Well, maybe Henry worked with Fedra. So that you could get medicine, alcohol, fucking apples. Did it mm. feel better? I don't think that's fair. They were probably threatened as well. Where is Henry? Why? What's up with Henry? Kill them. He's <gasps> with Edel's team. 
When you're done, burn the bodies. It's faster. <gasps> uh, Edelstein. Oh, that's the doctor. Is he scared? Yeah. Oh, he saw a lot. Nothing mm -hmm. I can do about that now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to know what the deal is here. Super sad. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, so sweet. Oh, it's Wombly Joel. It is. It's a longer mat. Uh-oh. We want to help you. Okay. I don't know what the next step is with something like this, but if I lower my gun, we didn't hurt you, so you don't hurt us. Right? Oh, they're new! That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joe, tell him he's okay. <laughs> he has an asshole voice. Dude. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah? I mean, that's true though. Sometimes you worry yeah? about the tone of someone as well. Get up slow. <laughs> he does have an asshole voice. Now that Ellie pointed that out. Oh, that's so nice of you all. When the sun's up, I'll show you one. Strength in numbers! And pointing an unloaded gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. So that's the deal. What? Yeah, that's interesting. That's new. <laughs> <laughs> Were they laughing at the pun? There's a bird. Yeah, you're right. It's a great plan. So what do you need me for? In fact, bed. It's empty. You've been down there. No, it's not! You're the right people. If it gets bad down there, you turn around <laughs> and run right back up. <laughs> the the bloater is... Plan? No, that's my dicey as fuck plan. They're saying they're going to help us escape. <laughs> Some space. Man, there, I bet it's full of infected though, because remember in the last episode, Kathleen and Perry saw that thing from the ground going up? That's kind of a pessimist. I'm not, not my dad. dad. <laughs> not yet! Oh my god, this is it. Let's go. I feel like I can't breathe just looking at this. <gasps> oh, there's drawing. Whoa. Oh, Joel. What in the world? House rules. What were the house rules? I want to read it. It's no comic way. book. I love these. 
<laughs> yes, oh, cute. Yeah. Come on, what's Goal, like a goal. I thought they were going to write the, their life goals on that wall or something. That's ugh, my bad. And I thought it was kind of sad that there weren't any goals. You know, I wasn't uh, exactly telling you the truth before. Mm. If I wanted some, I was going to take something big. That one great man. Oh, man. It must have been Kathleen's husband or something. The leader of the resistance movement. Or brother, the brother. The city. But you get it, though. You might not be her father, but you were someone's. No. See, I could tell. No. Must be their childhood we haven't found it home. Gunfire. He said, as long as we were together, you know, perfect box, we would be safe. He would be horrified by the things I've done. And if you've come to tell me that Michael wouldn't want me to hurt Henry. He told me to forgive. And what did he get for that? Michael must have known what, why he did what he did, Henry. Ah! Man, I get her though. As a sister, I get that. This is how it goes. He's like, no, Ellie. Never, ever, ever happening. <laughs> and he goes, like, oh, 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 Go! What the fuck oh, is that coming Shut up. Ooh, Shoxy. Who is that? Please don't do it. Please. <gasps> oh, man. Why did he do it? Get the ammo, though. Kid. Oh, Kathleen! Die, Henry. They Ooh. die all the time. Get ready to take him and run. Yes. Do it. No. It's time. No. Oh my god! Shocks! Never have I been happier for Infected to pop up. Well, that was bad! What the hell? Run, 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 run. Oh shit, oh shit. Nice. 
Here we go! Oh my god, he's a big boy! I love it! That's a good floater! Oh wow. Do the thing. Oh shit. Holy crap! They did the thing! Oh, Shoxy! Oh, that's so cool! My good lord, that was such an amazing scene. That shit's redundant. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I think it'd be nice for Sam to have a friend. I told him in the morning. Where's my tissue? I don't see any weird movements. Stiff? Sector 153. Stella, can you hear me? Oh, no. Oh, man. Mm. I don't think it works like that, though. Mm. But she's, you know, a kid. She's trying. Oh, my God. I love Ellie so much. He's trying to reassure Sam. Uh, Man, I feel so sad. <laughs> Oh uh, no! So we're gonna see see Tommy already next week. Okay. <gasps> Sorry. That was an amazing episode. Um, a lot of good things in that episode, which. It's just so amazing as someone who's played the game. Uh, they deviated from what Henry and Sam was like in the game, just in the sense that they were completely, I would say, 
inexperience with brutality because in the game you could sense that Henry and Sam has no knows their way around a gun, but here in the in the show they made it they showed us how inexperienced they were. Um, in terms of letting us viewers know the decision that Sam had to make, uh, that Henry had to make to save Sam, it puts it quickly puts us in a position where we can empathize with them. And it's also like a mirroring quality with Kathleen and her brother, but with Kathleen's brother. I teared up with her story as well because it was like she admits to not being a good person between the two of them and that her brother is actually the one that would tell her to forgive. But like what Craig said, there's really no rationality with people in the show it's all driven by love and emotion and that's why i can still empathize with kathleen i can empathize with henry and sam and all the more i can empathize with ellie her wanting to save sam and joel with how he kind of has a soft spot we even kind of saw a little bit of his humanity with the sniper when he said please don't do it because i i think he just didn't want to kill him he saw that he was an old man and he didn't want to have to kill an old man um but storytelling it was just so beautifully done and i love how in the after credit where we got to see what the cast had to say with learning how to speak asl like actually in the after party i was able to see bella ramsey and the actor of sam and bella ramsey was speaking in asl the entire time and i found that very cool of her to do uh now Moving away from the story, telling a little bit, oh my god, the bloater, the, okay, first of all, that has got to be my favorite scene in in the entire series so far in, in terms of action, because I don't know what I was expecting, but I did not expect it to be such a fast-paced zombie scene. Like, I was like, oh, I was so shocked that they came out so quickly, and I was like, wow, like, I guess... In a way, I just kind of felt how I would panic, like given that situation, because I can imagine how move things so quickly. And we saw that they all they all died. Like Perry died, Kathleen died, and talking about how Perry died, they didn't show us as viewers like the the extensity of it. But I can see how the bloater killed Perry, and it was definitely a nod to the game as to what would happen if the bloater got you in the game. So I thought that was very cool. Like I noticed it, like ripping your your head off, um, and they were all just so well made. Like the CGI was so good, but yeah, I just really like the direction that they went for it. It was just. For me, I really liked it. It was really cool as someone who's played the game. But going back to the ending now with Sam and with Sam and Henry, um, I think I was already st- sorry. I was already starting to tear up even before, like Henry said good night to Sam and Ellie because when Joel or when sorry. When Joel offered that if he they wanted to walk with them, he could just see it in Sam's face that he was a bit relieved. And of course, he was just really willing to travel with them because, like I said, they established it in, the scene, in this episode, in the show, that Henry and Sam weren't the most experienced of killers. And I think they were very, he was very relieved as a guardian to Sam that, Oh yes, we have someone with us in the team, and I can I kind of like how how I saw it is sort of like a parent when they get relieved that they have a way to provide for their kid. So that just really touched me. But yeah, like I already knew what was gonna happen, but just thinking about it again, it was just such wonderful performances by everyone. Like. Kathleen, even though I thought that I would just completely hate her, even if it was just for a minute or two, I was able to understand her, even her irrationality in terms of wanting to kill Sam, and even her brutality when she said, no, I'm gonna kill them, because you could just sense how she has no peace, and like what the actress who played her said, like, she'll never find peace, even if she did 
get to kill Sam and Henry. So yeah. But this was... I'd say this is my favorite episode by far. Because it has all of them. Like It has the best action sequences. It has the best um, storytelling that just tugs at your heartstrings. And it also makes you kind of realize just how bleak or like how much humanity didn't really have a stat didn't have a chance against the the infected to begin with so yeah anyway i'm gonna end it right here but that was so beautifully made i really liked it i might rewatch that whole entire horde scene again just because of how cool it is but before i go don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.